Coming up next on FVN's Adventurer, three-time shuttle veteran Rick Searfoss. More when we return. Go ahead, launch your Good, the launch team is go. Your vehicle's ready. On behalf of the entire launch team, you and the crew of Discovery have a great mission. Welcome back to Adventurer, the show where people truly push their lives to the limits. No talking heads here, just the real deals. I'm your host, Jim Clash. Our guest today, Rick Searfoss, has ridden the shuttle to space on three separate occasions. He's here to discuss a new $60 million shuttle simulation ride he helped develop where you and I can experience the thrill of a launch from the Kennedy Space Center. Rick, thanks so much for yeah, coming on Yeah, it's a show. pleasure, Jim. Thank you. Listen, I know we're here to talk about the new shuttle experience yeah, down, down at, uh, at the Cape, but I got to ask you a little bit first about the, the recent love triangle and uh, uh, Lisa Nowak, uh, I know you're a former sh shuttle astronaut. What do you make of this? What do you think happened? Uh, like everyone else, perplexed, shocked, surprised. Um, we'll just have to see how that, of course, plays out through the legal system and all. Uh, and um, I'm pulling for the NASA family, the thousands of people who work so hard to, to do great things, who really deserve uh, to be noticed for the great things that they've done through the years. And that's where my focus is these days. Shuttle launch experience is one of those many things. Now, moving <coughs> to, to the shuttle experience itself, mm -hmm. um, I know you guys have designed something that's going to be available to the public in May, They're down yeah. at the, the, the center in, in, in Florida, uh, which will simulate... Uh, a shuttle launch. Exactly. Uh, now you've been up three times in the shuttle. You've really done it. Uh, give us some uh, uh, perspective on what the simulation seems like versus the real deal. Right. Let me tell you, this simulation, the uh, shuttle launch experience, is in my view the closest you can get to down here on the planet of the, the sensations, the feelings, the visceral kind of feelings of uh, launching into space. W without the danger. Oh, without any danger whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, the, only, yeah. the only requirement for this ride is that you'd be 48 inches tall okay. <laughs> to do it. Uh, so very safe and controlled. But at the same time, and believe me, when I was brought, into, brought in to consult on it initially, my expectations were kind of here on how well they would be able to model that. But through the, the magic of some very talented technical people, the ways you can sort of fool the body using the visual and the sound and the seat backs that so, so go you back. So you're not really feeling the G's no, of the launch. No, you're just but, but, but changing the angle of inclination. And that just gives the illusion that you're feeling it. And I was blown away by how good it really is. You've got uh, visuals, you've got uh, film of, of real NASA uh, yeah. uh, launches. Uh, so so it, it's as close to the yeah. real deal And then we open up our payload bay doors and show this incredible graphics of, uh, happens to be Italy from space, something that's recognizable, but we call it the Earth Reveal. And it transitions from this rock and roll, this uh, real gut-wrenching kind of ride, into quiet and peaceful. You're, it's very still at that point. And you have this, uh, the music's playing, of course, for the right mood. And you open up the doors and you see this beautiful view of the earth. And that's, uh, that's an important component of it as well. Uh, you finish, after it's all over, you get to walk down this beautiful spiral staircase, a uh, very spacey looking kind of decor. See plaques of all the shuttle missions, all the people that have con yeah, contributed yeah, so sure, much. Sure. And that's all part of the message. What will it cost if I want to do this? It's, uh, well, right now, it, it's $38 for a $2, for a two day pass mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for an adult, it's less for children. Um, and that lets you see everything. So not just this, which will be a showpiece once it's finished, this right, new right. shuttle launch experience, but every other uh, experience there, you get a chance for astronaut experience to meet real astronauts and hear about their experiences firsthand. Take the tour and see the uh, the real space center and where the stuff happens. Rick, I'm going to end here. Because, you know, just explain to to our audience um, uh, as quickly as you can. What is it like to look at the Earth from space? It is for me. It was virtually a spiritual experience. You look back at this planet of ours, and you're and mind you, it's very quiet and still as you're floating along, and you see you have the opportunity to see with the big picture. I remember once I was up on the flight deck with one of my crewmates looking at all of eastern China. And I said to him, Dave, we're looking at over a billion people right now. And he says, it's amazing how we can feel so disconnected yet so much a part of that planet and sharing something in common. And it is a phenomenal beauty. It is just absolutely the best part of the experience and something that will be with me for my entire life. And you've got to do it three times. I'm yeah. really jealous. Well, I'd like to take you with me. <laughs> I hope you can. <laughs> Rick, thanks for coming yeah, in. You Thank bet. you very thanks, much. Jim. Again, shuttle astronaut Rick Searfoss. I'm Forbes adventurer Jim Clash. To check out my column, pick up Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com adventurer.
And thanks for watching FVN.